What's up? What's happening? We're building the brand new Scott scale. I've got the RC World Cup Edition in this bronze green metallic effect. It looks absolutely beautiful. It is super light, weighs in at 847 grams for the frame. I think we should get it in the stand and then talk over some of the details. This seems a little ridiculous. There we go, one of the world's lightest mountain bike frames in an electric bike stand. So how did the engineering team achieve that lightweight frame? Well, we've got two zones. We've got the lightweight zone, which runs along the top, and then the stiffness zone, which runs along the bottom, connecting the head tube, the bottom bracket, and the rear axle. And that is gonna give you maximum power transfer and efficiency. The head tube angle on the all new scale is 67.9 degrees plus or minus 0.6 degrees. Things like the brake mount have also been re-engineered to save weight. Note similarly, so too are the bottle cage mount. Every little helps. Three molded sections of carbon make up the scale's frame construction and it gives a frame weight of 847 grams. Right, let's get this build going and the first thing that we're gonna do is internal cable routing. Cable routing is done, it was surprisingly easy and I've even put some foam around the cables just to reduce any vibrations because we all know that I like a quiet bike. Before we go ahead and fit the headset, I wanted to talk about the forks that are going on the scale. These are the Fox 34 Step Cast Edition. I've got 100 millimeters of travel, three different modes. So you've got an open, a medium, and then a firm. Firm is basically locked out for maximum efficiency on the climbs. I really like the orange color, and I think it's gonna bring out that green and the bronze in the frame. So let's go ahead and get the crown race fitted. This scale build is really starting to come together. We've got the headset fitted, the forks, the stem, the bars, fitted the brake lever and the shifter, and also the grips. I've cut the cables down. It's all looking really nice. I'm a fan of that integrated headset. It just makes the bike look so sleek. We're gonna move on to the drivetrain now, and here's a Shimano XTR group set. 
This is one of my favorite drawers in the whole workshop. Tires on my scale are going to be the pairing of Schwalbe's Racing Ray and Racing Ralph. Ray has got a slightly more aggressive tread pattern, whereas Ralph is faster rolling. One thing that I didn't mention earlier was the fact that there's a service hatch right there, making it super easy for maintenance. Mm -hmm. 